Welcome to VCTV. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm here at the Robot Hackathon in Ottman House with the organizers, Carlos and Sarah, and a special guest who is now Leet1337. How does that name go? Exactly, yes. He's now Leet uh, in uh, Leet speak. Uh, hackers use numbers to write uh, to spell letters, so 1337 means Leet, and it means the elite for the hackers. So Notman House is full this weekend. Sarah, how many people did you see were here and also by remote? Uh, we have 65 people here, 16 teams, and also we have around 120 people all over the world in seven different cities in, uh, in the States, in Canada, and also in Egypt. Some people didn't sleep at all last night. It's like amazing, you know, they're really dedicated. Well, I'm here at Robot Hackathon Montreal at Notman House, and I'm here with one of the judges, Randy Smerick. So Randy just flew in from San Diego. So why Robot Hackathon Montreal? Well, I'm very excited to be here, first of all, and uh, San Diego's a long way away, as you know, but this is exactly the right place to be because robots are hot. There's just no doubt about it. It really brings a perfect blend of computers, technology, cl cloud computing, as well as the social element of how people work together to make these, uh, these technologies all, all happen. And here in Montreal, because of the great university community, the wonderful talent, the whole entrepreneurial focus of the, of the city, um, is, I think, the right hotbed to have this type of technology happen. I've been to Montreal a lot, and that's why I'm excited to fly all the way from San Diego to be right here today. We're building a, a little rover, so uh, the idea here is this, this little robot will uh, navigate through a museum at night. Um, so what you'd be able to do is through your browser, you'd be able to uh, control the robot, and it would navigate in front of the, uh, of the, fo of the uh, piece of art, and then with the, the 2D barcode, it would uh, be able to access a web page. So the information on the web page uh, would be displayed in front of you through your browser, and then you'd be able to uh, move around and enjoy the, the piece of art. So Randy, do you think there is the next Steve Wozniak in this room? Well, I'm, I'm sure hoping so. That's part of why I'm here is to see exactly what the teams have done. Now, um, it might not be a Steve Wozniak, it might be a Sarah Wozniak. We'll have to find out, but, uh, but I'm very confident that uh, out of this uh, community that'll happen. It's Robot Girl. How's it going, Robot Girl? Pretty good, pretty good. She hasn't had much sleep last night and hardly ate, and we're on to some exciting projects. So what's the name of your team? Uh, our team name is the Lightning Bots. And the reason being? Because lightning comes from the cloud, and this is a cloud robotics hackathon. But of course. Okay, so let's look at what you're building today. Okay, so today we have some familiar uh, material here and some new things. So what's new is uh, we connected all the robots together, specifically these three, in a mesh network. And a mesh network is basically a cloud but not connecting to the internet. When we play this math game, which is actually on the internet, it will alert all the robots of what answer was pressed, like if it was correct or not. And um, that data is then pushed through the orange RoboBird into my robots. So it's like a robot game meets the online world meets my robots, which is a social network for robots. Now before you go, we want to get to know you a little bit more. Tell us about yourself. You have an exciting background too. So I've been very fortunate. I've, uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've started four companies and been very lucky that I've been able to have four of them exit just because of the great teams I've been able to surround myself with. And I've done a lot around uh, networking, the mobile space today, even semiconductors. And the key thing about those types of companies and being successful is the team you form. And that's, again, exciting thing here with uh, Robotics Hackathon in Montreal is it's all not about just the idea, but the team coming together to execute. And let's see what's going to happen today. I'm here at the Robot Hackathon with another renegade team, the Rugal team. Guess where they're from. So what are you doing over here and what are you building this weekend? Uh, our initial goal was to build an autonomous robot that would be capable of exploring an unknown environment, detecting the location of interesting items, and then reporting those back to the user. I think our end result more be, might be more just like, oh, there's something interesting. I'm going to walk towards that. Now, from professional and personal experiences, where do you think robotics is going from here on? I already own a Roomba personally, so I, th I see robotics becoming more ubiquitous. Uh, as to how rapid that uptake will be, I don't really know. Okay, for the rest of us, what's a Roomba? <laughs> a Roomba is an automated personal vacuum cleaner. Well, it's been an exciting weekend at Robot Hackathon at Notman House this year. We've had tons of participants, and the judging's about to start. So thank you so much for visiting VCTV, and come back again real soon. Say bye now. 
拜。